Versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! Knowledge is power. Your giants are tearing me apart. I think I give giant his warlock. <sighs> I mean, third warlock is probably the worst matchup, but upside of this deck compared to Exodia Mage, you just don't lose to Agro 100% of the time. Wow, can't do Fisher on Mulligan has such a terrible win rate. I Actually it says forty four percent win rate against Warlocks. I guess it's mostly against Zoo. Well, there's no matchup statistics for the deck, not enough games played. Too early to pick Molten, I don't have any Kajo. I don't have any Kajo. Oh, guess I need Molten. Doesn't seem like it's skill block. I pick this scroll because my hand is very shitty. We have a chance of getting AI or but it's down from it. Yes. Oh yes. They'll serve me now. <laughs> oh, he's really two one. Why did he trade? Trader. Trader. I'll never open your pack because I'll have it as a gift from you. It's so valuable. Oh, how will you know that that one is mine? I don't know if I have gotten any packs for waiting for myself. Finally. What else can you get from there? There must be a rare job. Just similar to growing a boot on your garden on the other map. But there was a 3k box. 3k is definitely an overkill. You know, it sounds cool, like 3k packs, holy shit. But if you think about it, if only one person gets it, it's not so much value. You just you just make it like a golden deck, golden, golden collection. I guess not have a golden collection. But you don't need so many packs, you will have enough dust to craft anything anyway. If the value was spread between all the players, then it would have been a different story. Uh, I would like you to shift and scroll. I want to play Kingsbane role because too much aggro, bro. I'm not suffering against aggro with this deck, but Kingsbane Rogue is just dying. Out of 
Maybe after the nerf it will be a bit decent deck. Who knows? It's definitely not terrible against Warlocks, so that's a plus. I wanna dig for a better spell still. I know man. Can't roll like his stuff. He hasn't even gotten any Void Lords yet. Void Lords are the most fun, I guess. I think Agromage should be tier 1 uh, deck after nerfs. Maybe. Agromage is definitely good against Warlocks. Ah, uh, get behind me. And Cardo Creeper nerf doesn't affect it so much. It's actually better for Agromage if Creeper is nerfed. Because Mage was dying to Creepers much more no. often than the minion. Sure. Got Poet of Polymorph. I mean, if he had, uh, if he had a three-eight, he would have done it, right? But it's probably one of the better spells. I don't know if Questro will be good, because Questro will die to aggro, even if there are no Kaido creepers. No demons? He has two Void Lords, why didn't he play one? What? What is this play? He killed his own board! To play boss pulse not overdraw. No, oh, I guess I overdraw. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I mean, on the bright side, the AoEs are quite useful because you can go AoE and kill uh, all the Void Lords Warlock has to offer. Actually, I can fatigue him as well. So many possibilities. <laughs> oh my god! My hand is full. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's alright. But the problem is, I overdraw again. There must be a way. Because I get the quest. There's no way I'm gonna play an AoE next turn. Right? Bond, it's your people in Ukraine don't take shower every day. I don't think taking shower They'll every day is normal. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. Oh my god. Are you serious? Like how likely is this? Observe. I guess rip the card. I shower twice a day most of the days. I mean, I don't think that's healthy. Unless you're just using the water. Soap is not healthy. If you use it too often. I ain't talking. Oh, no overdraw. Hmm. 
You know, if you get a copy of this guide, you'll also die. Out of my Lethal? No, that was no lethal. I could only make one extra giant, that's 17, 18 damage. 18 damage is not lethal. No, guys, you cannot go AoE and Alexstrasza simultaneously. Hmm. It was actually nothing fancy. Like, my hand is kind of doing the same shit. very good I knew this doomsayer is uh, time warp actually possible to fatigue him Darkness rises. what is the AOE it's area of effect not knowing what AoE is in 2017, lul. I mean, he has to go Gul'dan anyway, so I guess I can just be taking this damage for a little bit. Like, play Glacial Mysteries just to dump, I guess. I need Alex to heal myself after he starts Gul'dan in me. Guys, this guy knows what he's doing. I don't think so. Uh, pinging face is kind of relevant, so maybe we should be pinging the 3 9. If you ping 3 9, you can go in with giants, uh, not so playing the wizard first. This deck is just so freaking old. Still not playing golden. Is Molten Reflection more important or Time Warp? I could just just please it and pass, that was fine. Might also be running to Spellbreakers mm. if so, he can Spellbreak and Seven Soul. One per play. I don't really need Giants to, to win this game, guys. Okay, he's fatiguing already and we have five cards left in deck. Each turn he doesn't play Golden, is good for me. Mm. He goes Golden next turn, we go. Like Tom, maybe find something from there. And also find the giant and use the giant to clear the board. Dragon Sphere does 3 or 5. I don't hate Alex right now. I bring life.
mourn your death. I'm almost out of cards. Oh no, I, will, I love the 50 50. Get the board clear, that was bad. I mean, it probably doesn't matter, I still lose. Crack me with this shit for sure. Mm, the Fury was activated, so I think I had it. Fire Blaster 2, a Fireball, and he burst. He didn't even heal himself, he could have killed his own mistress. Maybe he doesn't spot the lethal. Oh my god, lol. Strike. 